The perfect suture for all soft tissue should have certain mechanical and biological properties to ensure optimal healing and reduce tissue reactivity. Each type and size of suture has unique characteristics that not only affect its handling but also influence the healing process and the tissue response associated with it. The suture should be biocompatible, have the appropriate tensile strength for its purpose, easy to handle surgically, prevent premature and tying. The study I have for this week titled Comparison of Four Different Suture Material in Respect to Oral Wound Healing, Microbial Colonization, Tissue Reaction, and Clinical Features, a Randomized Clinical Trial by Dragovic and his colleague of Belgrade University in Serbia. It was published in Springer Nature in 2019. The aim of this study to compare four different suture material used in oral surgery to assist their biocompatibility, bacterial colonization, and inflammatory response, and impact on wound healing. They had 32 patients, 21 female and 11 male, aged between 18 to 25. Their inclusion criteria was a uh, healthy patient, non-smoker with no systemic or oral disease. After extraction, different suture material was used to close each wound with even distribution across jaw and quadrants. The randomization was determined by the toss of a coin and after that clockwise rotation was done until each suture material was placed in every quadrant and an equal number of times. The stitches were removed seven days post operatively. Four type of four O uh, gauge suture has been used in this study. Two monofilament uh, absorbable and non-absorbable, and two multifilament absorbable and non-absorbable. For evaluation method, they did a scanning electron microscopy to analyze surface and the structure of each suture material. They did MTT assay to evaluate by compatibility of suture material using gingival fibroblast. They did microorganism quantification to measure bacterial colonization on suture knot using real-time PCR. And they did histological analysis to assess an inflammatory reaction around suture using tissue sectioning. And they did a clinical parameter. Among these is the healing index by Landry. And they did visual analog scale to assess the pain. And they did uh, the handling removal aids, uh, which is determined by the surgeon. And post-operative slack, which measure with the probe to assess such a loosening in half millimeter. For the result, in terms of microbial adherence, more black was found on multifilament suture compared to monofilament under a CM analysis. For inflammation, microscopic analysis showed more inflammation around multifilament suture. In terms of healing, significantly better healing around synthetic suture in general. They concluded that when choosing suture, it's a strongly preferred to use synthetic monofilament suture following oral surgical procedure. Furthermore, based on the result, in the author opinion, it's always better to leave suture in a place for seven days and not to remove them earlier. And thank you.